What up, Pisces? My little watery Pisces. How you guys doing this week? This is going to be uh, your weekly love reading from Stella, okay? And I just want to let everybody know that I'm giving out a free reading every Friday. Um, if you subscribe and like, and then you go to my website and subscribe for the newsletter, um, I'm, we'll pick someone every Friday to do a live reading with. We can do it interactively, or I can record something and send it to you. We'll email, it'll be up to you. Just go down below in the comments um, after you subscribe at my website, which the information's in the description, and um, put your email in and your name. And we'll see who wins. You got a pretty good chance right now because I don't have many good, I don't have many followers. So best chance you got for a free reading. And it'll be a full reading like I do for my clients. It'll be between like 45 minutes and an hour and we'll do like the whole layout. All right. So we're going to see what's up with love. All right. So Pisces, I feel like you're in a new relationship. I feel like you're still in the same new relationship you were in last week um, for the ones this is going to resonate with. You're like still in like that ooey gooey kind of love, but you're not feeling everything you think you should feel. You feel like there's like secrets around this person. So we're going to find out what these secrets are. All right. I feel like maybe it's just because you don't trust, but we'll see. We're going to find out. We're going to get to the nitty gritty of it all. I promise. And remember, time is fluid. It doesn't matter when you watch this video. You can watch it. This is going to be for the last week of July. You can watch it in August. And universe is going to want you to see it when you're supposed to see it. Time is fluid. Don't worry about it. This is for any Pisces, sun, moon, and rising. And also, this isn't going to resonate with everyone. So take the parts you can and take that and, you know, take your advice from it. And then throw out what doesn't fit. But don't try to make it fit your story and don't try to make it fit your life, okay? If it's not for you, it's not for you. There's so many great readers on YouTube that will, you know, provide for you. Not everyone's going to resonate with you. But I'm going to try my hardest to, I promise. Okay, so we got at the bottom of the deck, we got the Ace of Wands. What did I say? New relationship. Really, really, really good sexy time. So when you're talking about wands, I mean, that's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you know, they're good for sexy time. What did I say, Pisces? And usually you two go good together because they're really cerebral and you're really emotional. So you guys kind of like fill each other's like spaces. You know what I mean? Like spirits saying you guys like kind of like mesh together because like you have what they don't and they have what you don't. Like, they're really cerebral and always very reasonable, where you're very emotional. So you guys can kind of fill each other up that way. So not a bad pair. We'll see how many swords we get. Okay, we're going to go to your past energy as the Knight of Wands upside down. So your last man or woman was not filling you up. All right, present energy. We got the Empress and the upright hellos oh maybe i should show them to you while i pull them okay and then we got the ace of swords so we got some truth coming out gemini uh, libra aquarius and that's going to be in your subconscious that means you have clarity okay after that we have justice in the reverse so there's no revenge going on in your obstacles category the influence of others is the two of pentacles you may be juggling or your friends may think you're juggling a little bit or just maybe just have some decisions to make. That's not a huge deal. That's not too bad. I've had some rough readings tonight that have went over 30 minutes. But I got a good feeling about my Pisces tonight. Okay, what do we want? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, sixth position. What you should do, you should have the Ten of Cups. That's what you should do. You should be happy with all ten full cups of love. And when you're thinking cups, you know, you got to think Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, just like yourself, because you guys are full of love. And your outcome is the King of Swords, somebody very dependable, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, somebody that's going to be there. They're going to be steady. And what did I tell you? These are the type of people that Aquar or Pisces need to be with, people that are steady, reasonable. They kind of use their brain over their heart, which can be a little frustrating sometimes. 
but it kind of balances you out. All right, let me put my little crystal back on top of my decks. I actually have all these decks right here that you can't see. My son's at a sleepover tonight. He took his phone, which is what I use, because he's got the good phone, and mine's three years old, because I'm over 40, and I don't buy new shit. <laughs> like, so, like, and he took my new computer, so I'm left with a tablet. So if the quality isn't so great, don't worry. It'll be good. And just so you know, my little thumbprint, that's my dog right now, because my son has my logo on his phone. <laughs> I know, it's retarded, but... It's all I can do, and he hates, like, I use his game room. Like, he, he he's the one that told me to do this. So, anyways, enough about me. Let's get to clarification here. I think this looks pretty darn good, though. This new relationship, I feel like you guys are going to fit each other kind of like a glove. You might have a little bit of arguments because you're emotional and they're reasonable and cerebral. But you will fill each other's empty spaces. Like, you will make them feel emotional as long as you don't get too emotional. Never get too emotional with an air sign. And uh, as long as they don't get too cerebral with you, you have the Knight of Wands. And you know what I say about the Knight of Wands. We all feel it. And you both know how to use it right. I'm thinking this is, might be a very sexy time reading. That's what I'm feeling right now. That's what I'm feeling. All right, not a knight of wands in the reverse. Someone that you had great sex with, but he was in the past or she was in the past, and we don't clarify the past because in this room, we say F the past because it don't matter none. Some people might want to know, but why dwell on it? Seriously. Like, dwell on the future, not on the past. In the present, you're the empress. That's number three, our major arcana. She's like, you know, she's the god of Venus, the planet of love. Like, she's feminine and nurturing and beautiful and embodies everything feminine. So whether you are this empress or you're dating one, you're a lucky person. We don't even need to clarify that. Ace of Swords, you're subconscious. You are not sure you're seeing clarity, but you are. This can be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? You have the truth about this person. This person is being honest with you. They are being straight up with you. They are not giving you any bullshit. Like, they are being who they are with you, and you need to be who you are with them as a Pisces. And I really feel like this doesn't need to be clarified either because it just means clarity. You cannot clarify clarity because that's what this card means. All right. We will, um, influences of others is justice and the reverse. We'll see why your friends and family are a little bit nervous about this because I'm not going to say they want to like, you know, it's in the reverse. So they're not seeing like any, they don't want to do anything. They don't think anything bad of this person. They're not seeing anything bad of this person. Um, but let's just see what they feel about them. I got to clarify something. This is such a good reading. Okay, you guys got the lovers. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. <laughs> oh my God, it's like all over the place. Swords and swords and swords, but in a good way. Okay, well actually this is just a Gemini card, sorry. But it's the lovers. Lovers can mean options too, though. So you could have options. And remember, this isn't going to resonate with everyone. But I'm getting like a giddy feeling right now. Like the lovers, like that's a good ass card to have right on top of, uh, you know, that card. And then you're going to have the Knight of Rods, which is the Knight of Wands, which is my play a play a card. So that's one thing you got to watch out for. Make sure this person is being totally upfront and honest with you. And while this is a new relationship, you really need to call it exclusive. And I usually don't say that about my player player card, but I feel like you guys need to make it official. And don't like come at them like crazy, like, I gotta make it official and you can't date anyone and take your profile offline. Do it in a classy way. Just be like, I'm a lady or I'm a man and this is what I believe in. 
And I just, like, I feel like we need to be one-on-one, and I would just feel better if we were just dating each other and took the time to get to know each other. And I think that would be the best way to go across that. Because you got the two of swords here, so there's an option to make. Like, do you want to keep going the way you're going and just sleeping with them or, like, Netflix and chill with them? Or do you want to, like, actually have a real relationship where it's just you and them but you have to be classy about it like you can never approach an air sign emotionally you got to keep your composure okay so after that and the um your obstacles right here or sorry that was your uh, no that was your obstacles i'm so sorry it's like almost two in the morning right now that was your obstacle. Pretty damn good obstacle. You guys went through it like flying colors. Okay. Thoughts of others are juggling. That can be um, Capricorn, uh, Taurus, or Virgo. So somebody might still be juggling, and hence why you need to do these three things. You need to be the lovers, and you need to come together, and I think you guys need to be exclusive because then you got the world. And you start a new cycle with each other. And that new cycle is going to be exclusivity. And that's what you really need. And that's the only card I'm even going to lay down on your obstacles. Because after that, you get the Ten of Swords. Or the Ten of Cups, sorry. And that is a whole lot of love. There's no re I never clarify the Ten of Cups. What could clarify the Ten of Cups? This is a whole lot of love. But at the end, for your outcome and what you want out of this relationship is the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay? So this is the simplest reading I've had all night. I've had the roughest readings. They went like 30, 35 minutes. But this one, for the people this is going to resonate with, like, you might not feel it right now because you could still be at the King of Knights. And you might not be that Empress that you feel like you are. And I, I think you're still getting over this King of Knights. But in the rest of the week or weeks to come, this is what is coming for you. I advise you that if you are in this still in this Knight of Wands position in the reverse, because we got this twice as a player-player card... Like, um, what I want you to do is I really want you to go to online dating because you're going to feel like an empress and you're going to get truth and then you're going to get the lovers and the knight of rods again, which is the same as the knight of wands, and you're going to get to make a choice between many people. And then you're going to start a new cycle and you're going to get to make a choice between who you want that new cycle to be with. Then you're going to get the Ten of Cups, which is like ultimate love fulfillment. Like ultimate emotional and love fulfillment. And you'll get your King of Swords at the end, which is a very stable person. Which goes good with, you know, a Pisces because you guys are emotional. So you need someone reasonable and then you guys fill each other's gaps. What did I say in the beginning? You need someone that's going to fill those gaps. And this person's going to fill those gaps. Let's pull oracle cards, though. I will pull you guys a couple extra oracle cards because this reading was just, like, smooth as butter. You know? What Donnie Brasco say? Forget about it. And it has, like, a million different meanings. And this, uh, in this reading, it's, like, clarification. Forget about it. Like, that's what spirit tells me like and I'm sorry but I have to do what they say like that's where I get my intuition from so all right let me cut the angel romance and let's see what we get here okay so we got calling in your soulmate your prayers affirmations and visualizations help bring you together how sweet is that how sweet is that? Seriously. How sweet is that? Okay, this could be the one. You are you have already met the romantic partner you seek. 
But remember, time is fluid, so you're going to see this when you need to, and this will happen when you want to. Now let's call in the journey souls. And this is going to be all about you. This isn't going to be about your relationship. A little bit of it could be, but the journey soul deck is more about like what you need to do to work on yourself. So I like to pull a couple of these for anyone. But that was an amazing reading, guys. For the people of this, even if you're still in that reverse Knight of Swords stage, did you see what's coming for you? You just got to look for it. Don't sit home and do nothing about it. The minute you feel like this knight isn't doing his job, you get online and you find a thousand men or women. That's what I want you to do. Doubt, I release the need to know all the answers. Okay, and that's perfect with what I just said. Like, so if you are one of those people that aren't in the middle of this process, what I want you to do is I want you to release your doubt. And I want you to get rid of it. And I want you to make profile, spend that 20 bucks. It's worth it. Trust me. I met a sexy ass Italian online and lucky girl. That's all I got to say. Okay. Worry. Guys, stop being true Pisces. I'm learning that worry doesn't change the outcome. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. These cards are for the people that haven't gotten to this yet. But I actually know like four Pisces right now that are right in the middle of this spread right here. And it will come for you too. I have been doing this for 20 years and I have never met anyone that didn't follow their sign. And you guys all go through the same stuff just at different times. Gratitude. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities it presents. And that's how you're going to feel in about two weeks, if not less, if you take my advice and you get online. And maybe you can get a free reading with me. Just remember, um, go to the description. My, e uh, my email and my website are down there. Sign up, uh, subscribe, like, then um, go to my website, sign up there for the newsletter, and then come back in and, and the comments below, put your email address and your name, and you can get picked for the free drawing, and there's not much competition right now. So get it while the getting's good. I'm getting more people every time. I've only been on here for like three, three or four weeks now, so, you know, Get a while that getting's good and you can get a free reading and your odds are great. So, all right, Pisces, I love you. Have a great rest of July and I will see you in August or possibly on Friday. Mwah. Love you.